Okay, we are recording. This is the Build It Big workbook that we are doing another session from. And the session name is Plan Great Meetings. So without going back and reading um, in the Build It Big and more Build It Big pages, um, who wants to share what they got out of um, those readings? Well, well, no offense, I, I browsed them real quick. So everybody else could go ahead and speak ahead first. <laughs> okay. I was just gonna say, I, I thought it was nice that they have it all structured so that you can, I mean, it's like one of the things that I really noticed um, the most out of actually all three areas, the workbook and both books was that it's like, stay consistent with what you're doing. Don't change it up. So next month's meeting should be exactly the same way this month's meeting should be. And if you bring someone else on board, just because somebody new is on board, that doesn't mean you should change it up. You do the same thing and you fit them in, in the area, the category that they qualify themselves for, if they're a guest speaker or whatever. I thought that was really interesting. I mean, I never did it any other way and I've never seen it any other way. But the idea that it could be done another way is good, but this clearly states don't do that because you you end up confusing the people that are on your team and they expect to see one thing and then they don't. And it's like, what if you run out of time and you don't have a chance to give them recognition because you didn't do it at the beginning? You know what I mean? Right, so, right. Yeah. That. And that. that's kind of why our PowerPoint seems to look the same way at every one of our team meetings because we use that same pattern and then just fit in the things that are new that everyone needs to know about, so. Yeah, exactly, and that was kind of like the example they used is like when you go into McDonald's in your hometown, it's gonna look the same as if you take a field trip 2000 miles down the road, It's you're gonna walk in, it's gonna look just the same. You know what's on the menu, you know where the bathrooms are, you know where to find napkins. So it's the same thing over and over that repetition is good because you come to expect and you can find what you're looking for and you know you're going to find it somewhere because you're familiar with it. Mm -hmm. It's not like a restaurant somewhere clear out of the blue and you don't even know where to check in at for your meal. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I like that. I, I thought that was really cool. Okay. Anyone else want to share what they got out of the readings? Um, in the from what I just did, a quick scan while Flo was talking, doing some skimming and stuff. Uh, the one word that stuck out to me the most, even while listening to Flo and reading, is consistency. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest word for any meeting. You got to try to keep your meetings, you know, on the same flow chart, you know, that sort of thing. And be consistent. Surprise is kind of... Uh, push people away a little bit, you know, unless they're good surprises, you know, like free gifts, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of okay, course. I'll go ahead, go on video now. There we go. <laughs> okay, anyone else want to share what they got out of the readings? I liked everything she was just speaking of and also Roger. And I like the point that they said about put the focus more on their learning than your training. Mm -hmm. And that was something that stood out. Um, doing hands-on has been something we've implemented into our team meetings lately. And it's been really engaging a lot of more attention and um, more engagement after the fact too. They've been contacting to do one-on-ones and dig even deeper on those topics for the training, um, getting them, you know, in there and learning. So they like that. Mm -hmm. um, I also love the part where, as she said, to keep the routine. Um, I did on my last meeting ask the girls if they liked the format of my meetings and they said yes. And they liked that it is an hour because I was going to ask if they wanted to make it a half an hour and then a half an hour of discussion time. And they said, no, they want an hour of training. So I did reach out and ask them. They like to absorb that knowledge and they said they feel like they've accomplished something mentally. Now it's up to them to put the action behind it. So um, we're going to keep them at an hour and format in kind of the same format of what's here is what we kind of just were going over mm -hmm. um, how to implement the meetings with um, and if I don't have time to ask them what their aha moment was of the meeting I do that personal I afterwards I've found that they open up more after um, than they do on the screen yeah yeah. So I send them a Facebook message after and say, thank you so much for attending. Um, can you give me what your feedback is? What was your aha moment? 
Um, and I do that for two purposes. Number one, were you taking notes? Were you listening? And number two, so I know, and my team's pretty honest, they'll say, you know, I think we spent a little too much time on that. Seems like you need to do some one-on-ones with some of those team members separately because they're not getting it and it dragged on. Or they will be honest and say, I love this part and I love that you implement that in. So they're not going to open up and say that on the meeting that, mm-hmm. you know, Sally, you're asking too many questions. You know, they're not going <laughs> to say that. So on the side, you can really get deep with your team members on that one-on-one um, outside focus. So yeah, I like this section. Right. Uh, one thing I jotted down, I'll just input here. And then Teresa, if you want to add anything, feel free. But I said, you know, I, I wrote down from what I was reading, have your team members leave the meeting feeling inspired, motivated, and more knowledgeable when then when they arrived. Yeah. So, you know, mm-hmm. we, we all can learn from, from readings on, on meetings, anything else. And I love the part that they said to have them get more active with it. Um, it makes them feel engaged and part of, you know, being important or making them feel like a leader, especially my leaders. I reach out to them in advance and tell them, hey, want to take over this topic because you're strong with this. And that gives them such that empowering feeling of, wow, she wants me to host part of her meeting and to talk. Now, some of them are shy and don't want to do it at first, but that's okay. I t- what I do is I do a slide of them. And then I do the talking for them. So at least the first step is they see their self on the screen um, and the, you know, results of what people are responding with it. And then the next time I'm sure they'll talk, they'll open up a little bit more. So um, yeah, definitely involving them. Yeah. Well, that, that's interesting that you said that because as I was reading through this, I was going to say tonight that who wants to run the next BIB session. (laughs) So I'll give thought, I'll let you get some thought to that. Well, a couple of things that stood out for me, because I'm like I said, I'm jumping through the pages. I'm in BIB. I'm in the build first build it big book page 162. Two things really jump out at me, which really makes a good meeting is a sharing segment of the meeting where you give the Other people in the room, a chance to share what's worked for them, you know, in sales, you know, so that others who are like new can hear, can listen in on these things. You know, it's more about getting them involved in the sense of sharing what they did to get sales. So to help the rest of the team or, you know, and then sit back and listen to what other people's done to get sales. So you can implement that into your own, try it out for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that's out. Um, the second part of that that stepped out is the testimonial time where it gives team members a chance to talk about, like, say for us, like Avon meeting, talk about the Avon products, what you really liked about it, get up, because when you're talking about it, others in the group are going to be wanting to say, hey, I haven't tried that yet. Let's see what that does. And then that spreads right on down to their customers. It gets more orders that way. So, you know, right. sharing your testimony is a big thing. If they haven't used it, then when they hear somebody else's testimonial about it, maybe interest them in trying it or share that same testimonial with their customers if their customer asks them about it. So it can work two ways. And I wanted to mention too that um, the order they have it in, that sharing segment, I push that towards the end because if there's a lot of information I'm training on or we're going over, Um, If we don't have time for that, then I don't throw that in. But I have also noticed that if I wait to add that towards the end, that they talk more because they have gotten in, they've got comfortable with the meeting. If you just jump right in and have them in the beginning, sometimes they're just like maybe scuffling around like I just was, to be honest with you, to put the uh, (laughs) dinner in the oven. So, um, (laughs) you know, it's like they aren't going to be talking as much. So I want them to come in, kind of get settled and then Um, newbies they might be the first time attending they're going to get a little comfortable with the format already and maybe open up plus if you give a presentation and you give training and you give ideas and you go over your announcements um, things might trigger in their brain like oh I did something that's you know regards to that this week and I want to share now but they might not have thought of that in the beginning so um, I just kind of tweak the list Um, the way we do ours is at the end for um, your what do you want to share 
Mm-hmm. Well, my impression on that one, Christine, is that from looking at these on page 162 there, you can put these in any order. So, you know, that's what I see why you kind of move that more toward the end because it gets more interaction out of everybody else in the meeting instead of you being up there doing all the talking. Yeah, and let them get a little comfortable. You that break from the talking, so you got to throw something else in there to, so you can have a talking break. And I think people yeah. like that too at the end. I mean, when I, you know, shut off the recording um, and then people, you know, want to come out with their thoughts and their, that type of thing. And that's okay, you know, because they get the advantage of that because they joined the meeting that night. So, yes. you know. And you bring that to a good point also. I turn off my recording at that section. So mm-hmm. they can kind of open up. It's not being recorded. So in case this goes anywhere, anything you're speaking of or opening up about or questioning about um, is not going to be floating out there. And that has also uh, opened them up a lot more too as well. Right, right. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Anything else, Teresa, that you wanted to share with us? Well, I'm sorry. I did not actually, hello everyone. I did not actually do all the reading, but I can say uh-huh. that I do, being a newbie here, I do appreciate the change in the format of the meetings. Mm -hmm. The format, whereas we didn't just go through section by section, that was getting kind of stagnant. It was kind of boring. But then when you changed it up and you made the, had the opportunity for us to share and us to give the testimonials a little bit sooner in our meetings, you know, every meeting is different and, you know, you can get the feel of your team. And once you did that and you opened it up for us to, and then you kind of threw in those key points and then we could share about that. It didn't seem like it was really a class. It just seems like we were just sitting together, having coffee together, talking, which made it a little more easier and a little more, it made the information flow a little bit better. Mm-hmm. And so I appreciated that. That I, I I like that. Yeah. I like the way that was done in the meetings. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. I like to keep it open too, instead of it all being, you know, the format of going through. But um it was I'm a sorry. little more laid back than than so much structure. Right, right. I'm sorry. I got to mute my husband back here. He's talking okay. on the phone and he's <laughs> walking through the room. Him. So uh, I wanted to make sure it wasn't me with the noise in the background. <laughs> so if you got a TV on or anything or your husband talking on the phone, please ask him to <laughs> a mute or mute your TV so we are we have a good recording. I'm back. Sorry. Okay. okay, good. I think my computer locked up and I saw goopy faces on everybody when the computer screen froze. So. <laughs> if I would have been able to do a screenshot, that would be uh, embarrassing moments for all y'all. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm still hearing a TV in the background. Does somebody have a TV on? Or... TV, probably. Okay, yeah. If you can mute the TV or something for us, then we won't hear it in the recording. Well, I'll turn my I'll turn my um my sound off. I have some Christmas music in the background on mine. Is the oh, that I'm not I'm not hearing that. Okay, I'm not hearing any Christmas music. Anyway, okay. Um, let's go into another thing that I wrote down on page one ten of the um. It must have been the. I'm not sure which reading it was, but if I wrote down, what did you like in the 16 tips? And we might have already covered that. The 16 tips. That's the workbook. Okay, the workbook. Yeah. I didn't even get that far. Oh, okay. I read all the books, but then I stopped turning pages when I saw all these written things. It's like, I'm going to do that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> Okay, let's go through the 16 tips for masterful meetings. It's on page 110, or if your workbook is a little bit different, it might be on a different page, but we're skipping a couple pages and the 16 tips for masterful meetings. Anything 
as you scan through that or you read that in your workbook right now, anything stands out? Yeah, the first one does for me. Okay. It says, be prepared, calm, cool, and collected. Things I'm never. It doesn't make a difference where I'm at, what I'm talking about. Being calm, cool, collected. So I'm sweating profusely. I'm freaking out because I think I got all the wrong things and I'm saying the wrong things. I'm rattling on for something that doesn't even pertain to the situation. Yeah, no, I'm none of those things. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I had to mute uh, you, Jody, because I, I kept hearing the noise in the background. Um, okay, anyone else? Any of the 16 tips that stood out with you? Some of them we've already- Number done. five. Number five. Okay. Present with energy and enthusiasm. Your energy will determine the attentiveness and engagement of your team throughout the meeting. Bring your A game. Okay, that one stood out to me because, you know, there was a TV star. He talked baritone all the time. No voice fluctuations, no enthusiasm, no excitement, just dull and kind that of you want to fall asleep on. So enthusiasm and excitement keeps everybody awake and wanting to hear what you're saying next. Okay, okay, good. Anything else stand out? And we have talked about like number 10. We talked about number seven. Um, you know, some of this is if you're having an actual meeting, you know, other than a Zoom, like in a room or whatever. But I also liked, and I don't know which number it was, that was like started out with some jazzy music, you know? Yeah, that's number 15. Yeah, okay. Yeah, music adds energy and excitement to the meeting. So I thought that would, that's kind of cool. Anything else? Uh, still looking. Can you send me that as well? Because my workbook is different than your guys. Okay, so you didn't get the 16. No. Okay, no. yeah. Thank yeah. You. Well, Roger, you probably have it in your. You've got I've, got, I've got the, I've got the ebook. Yeah. So yeah, if you can take those two pages out and maybe email Christine for it with it. Sure. Look, look you designate somebody else to do that already. God, Dawn. You love yeah, I gotta <laughs> delegate. I gotta <laughs> delegate. <laughs> well, I don't have Christine's email, so I have to send it to you as a file through messenger, Christine. That's okay, or I can send you my email, whatever works easier. Well, send, send me your email through Messenger, and I'll just, uh, I have to do a copy and paste. I, I'll use Publisher okay. to create these pages. Thank for you. you. Appreciate it. So, so that's a 16 tip. Number 12 reminds me of um, a couple of years ago, Christmas time, when we went into Chicago and you had a table. That was the first time I actually physically met you. We had had meetings and stuff before where I met you online, but that was my first face-to-face -face contact with you at the uh, Christmas thing. And you had that table and there was so much going on on that. You came too, Roger. You were a little bit late for that. I remember that. No, you weren't real late. But yeah, no, well, because I also came with some of my team members. Yeah, he came. Yeah. With, I think Jen drove. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jen. We had Jen and Deb. Mm -hmm. Me, Jen, and Deb. So yeah, now that was kind of nice. I liked that there were uh, display tables and that you guys were set up and you knew what was going on with your items that you had in front of you and you were able to talk about them and tell the team members. I mean, because we were all Avon, so right. Yeah, right. that was really nice. I like that. So number twelve. Um, I thought that was good. It says arrange for a team member to set up a product or a service display and ask them to profile one or two products. Mm -hmm. I thought that was nice sharing them, why you love them, what the benefits are. And uh, I thought that was really cool. That was, and, that was and we could probably still do that via Zoom, you know, by one of the newer products that, you know, people choose to share if they've used it, like we talked about. You know, yeah. they could hold it up, you know, and that, because I don't know, it depends on what happens in 2020, if Avon, w I know they want to go back to having those, you know, sessions in different locations and stuff. 
Um, so if they were to have something like that, of course, but until then we could do it by Zoom, you know, with our team meetings. So that's a good thought. Okay. All right. Um, I'm kind of going backwards now. <laughs> Um, I'm hey, gonna uh, Christine, Christine, I'm going to be sending those to you via picture format because I cannot do uh, copy and paste from, um, you know, from my uh, uh, PDF viewer. So I'm going to be sending screenshot okay. pictures of each. So you got to get awesome. like however many thank pictures. You. Okay, thank you. Okay, You're I'll be looking for them. So back on page 108, and I know I'm going backwards, but I had that, those 16 tips written down in my notebook, but back on page 108, um, select your meeting components. And we talked about the segment, you know, and, and determining how many minutes you want for, for each segment, but the gray box, you know, indicates to calculate the total uh, meeting time, you know, to keep it an hour. I know that's really, really hard for me and I apologize already, um, but to keep it an hour, um, and sure the allotted time for each segment. So any thoughts or comments on that? I think that's great. And when it goes over, it means that people were engaged. They yeah. actually have the option. The recording will be there. If they have to leave, they can leave. And if it goes a little over, you know, which we try to keep at that targeted hour for everybody's respect. But um, if it goes over, I think that's great. Like last meeting, you know, I dug, a, I got a lot of ideas from you guys, you know, writing that information down and we went a little over, but we got a lot out of it. So yeah, yeah it that was good with the sto story. Wasn't that building's your leadership uh, wheel, yeah. That's what the last one was, legacy leadership, and the one before was story. But uh, plan your content and presenters, you know, have a theme, talks about a theme, and what, how are you gonna invite the people to it? Drag him off the street kicking and screaming. <laughs> Well, you know, I like to do it in a couple ways. I usually try to get an email out to everyone in the team that I can send through Avon. Uh, but then I do um, sit down and, you know, I'll, I'll give my secret away. I usually, you know, send a text and then I copy it and then send it to, you know, definitely for the recognition part because I want the people that are gonna be recognized to be, um, you know, to attend because that's, that's fun. And I, it's always a good feeling. I know, um, I think it makes everyone feel good when their name is in the, in the pictures to be recognized, or maybe it's their birthday or anniversary, whatever it is. I always look for ways to recognize as many people as I can. Isn't it Roger's anniversary here soon? Or is it My different? anniversary is two days from now, and everybody better make sure that they tell Dawn a happy early birthday. Happy tomorrow, birthday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> See, that's why I said that's that's another way that I remember Dawn's birthday. Happy because birthday. I signed up the day after her birthday. So my four-year anniversary is in a couple of days. So yeah. Yep. So you guys ready? We're going to sing happy birthday. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, who's this, as Lone Ranger said to Tonto, who's this wee Kimosabi? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got the voice to sing right now. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, Dawn. Thank happy you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to be a fun day. So anyway, back to our meeting that we're having now. <laughs> So, so under the planning your content and presenters, um, anything in there that stands out for you? It's on page 109 if you're in the same book I am. But um, oh, before we get into that, remember sometimes I ask the WOW and it's listed right there at the top of the page uh, with what are you going to do within one week? 
Right. Yeah. So that that's that's a good deal to always include that in whatever meeting you're having. But the rest of the content and presenters, any comments? I totally get the entire page except number one. What is your theme? What, are, what does it mean? What is your theme? I mean, I know why we're there, the reason for us coming together, but is that what they're considering a theme? A theme would actually be something like maybe um, one of the new products, you know, like we have the new product launches and they use like a spring theme or like, you know, like flowers and stuff like that to make it springy. Or like if you're having a meeting around Halloween, you got Halloween decorations up. And well, and what yeah. I've done before, if you remember, um, those of you that have been around for a while, remember when I was talking about the, you know, a big incentive and I wore a sailor hat and I wore different hats yep. you know, to just to bring out a, a theme, a focus, that kind of thing. Okay. okay. I'm confused, but okay. You're con <laughs> yeah. confused. I well, I yeah. get it if you're if you're like having a surprise party. The theme is the whole thing is a surprise, and there's balloons and confetti, and everybody's got a can of confetti, and they're all spraying the living daylights out of the guest of honor. But <laughs> I get that, or I get that you're going to a children's party, and it's a superhero party or something like that. And I get that. But I mean, if you're going there for an Avon meeting, so you're saying to focus in on a particular product or the new products, which is what you would be there for anyways, because every meeting, I would think that you would show some of the new products that are coming in or something that you expect to be a big seller, something along those lines. Is that what you consider a theme? I mean, to well, me, I think theme yeah. park, you know, and you go to a water place, you know what I mean? Well, That's what the, it like what we, I think it's more after you get through the general stuff, and then afterwards, like the one time that I had you talk about an online party. Okay. So then I kind of created a theme after we got through the general stuff that we were going to focus on, you know, everybody trying to do an online party. And I had you as the guest speaker and sharing, you know, what you had put together. Okay. That so makes that, sense. That yeah. The highlight of the, of the meeting. <laughs> What is the highlight? Like she mentioned product or what you were training. So what's the highlight? So announcing the meeting as this one's going to be about doing, you know, parties. And then this one's about the new uh, Ohalaha, bring your Ohalaha, you know, outfit on. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, right. Or when meeting, I have, a, a, you know, a guest speaker, like, you know, yeah. I had Nikki that one time and then I just recently had Michelle, our sales executive speak for us. Um, you know, to just bring some, you know, some excitement, some newness, some, you know, more than just me talking all the time. So it's an actual <laughs> theme. That did then. question me though, too, as well, because you think like, if you're doing a theme, like you said, if you're doing a birthday party, it's a party, a birthday party, only that mm -hmm. one particular thing you're going for, like a meeting, it's sporadic. It's a bunch of different things you're learning. So what is the theme? <laughs> yeah, right. I, I get you. That's the same thing that, but, um. Yeah, I uh, was looking at the training recognition information. They even have in parentheses on mine saying those are ideas. So it's really not, you know, to us, when we hear that word theme, we think a theme behind. Do you have a kitty cat behind you or what? <laughs> no, no, guest of honor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I keep seeing her looking but behind we, her. Like we can have a or... pet thing. I don't have a yeah. pet. I have to use a stuffed pet. <laughs> Oh, you oh, move that that cat Come here, boys. Come here, boys. <laughs> There's one right behind you. Know, the meeting. Um, my daughter-in-law called me and told me their power is out, so they might be spending the night here. So I got my grandson throwing his jacket into the room. It's like, come here, come here. But uh, yeah, I get his jacket. <laughs> right, right. So, okay. So then the rest of those things that were were listed on your content and presenter. On page 109, you know, um, we, you know, we kind of talked about a lot of this recognition and accomplishments. They show that kind of at the end, but, you know, over on the other page, it shows recognition at the beginning. I like recognition at the beginning. Um, I mean, what do you guys all think about that? 
Well, I yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. It yeah. gets them excited. Like away too. Well, you know, you give you give somebody a positive feeling, and then they're more inspired to pay better attention. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, it or it off with a positive you arrive on time because they it know does. you're going to do the recognition at the very beginning. Good point, Dawn. And they don't I want it to. They don't want to miss it. <laughs> no. They don't want to miss it, so they're already sitting yeah. there waiting. Yeah. yeah. What do you right. send me every time? I hope you're coming, Flo. You're being recognized. Okay, so I had a dollar more than somebody else, but okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, I, I think that. You know, and when you can recognize as many people as you can, I, I've read so many things about how that just builds up. I mean, I like to be recognized. Uh, you know, and you never know what a person may be going through that day. That just yeah. may be what they need, that little bit of recognition to right. feel appreciated. Yeah. Right. And it encourages the others to be like, I want to be on that list next meeting. So I am going to you know, get busy, put some action behind my business, and I'm going to come early so I can see that recognition. Exactly. Right. Well, and that's what we were talking about that one time when I was telling you that I miss your uh, notices, all of the things that you used to send every month. And uh, I wanted to be, I, of course, at the very beginning when I first started selling Avon, I mean, I was recognized because I made certain goals. And, mm -hmm. but then after my initial part in it was over at the very beginning it's like I fell off those charts it's like I want to be back on there you know I really wanted right. to be right yeah because right. yeah, I like the idea yeah. of seeing my name on that paper that was really yeah. <laughs> that engaged me too to see my name on that when they used to do that through the um, Avon corporate where right. they did it through districts right I would oh, yeah I love that seeing five. my name on there goals. or even yeah when you know when some of the coaches used to send that out in an email even yeah you know to everyone in in their region or team or whatever and they recognized you know i think yeah. recognition is a part of everything that avon should do it should always be recognition oh fyi christine i'm blowing up your messenger right now i just saw that <laughs> thank you that's <laughs> her <laughs> pictures i'm gonna blow up your messenger during this meeting so <laughs> Okay, so, you know, is there anything else that we haven't covered? I mean, we could have almost done two sessions tonight with our time for this one, but any other meeting category rise? Um, the only thing like the plan to involve your team, one thing I did ask was my leaders to start to check the chat because it's so hard to check the chat at the same time as presenting a meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and then slowly involving them um, with short little presentations so that they can start doing their own meetings. Right. I think that is so yeah. important for them to get comfortable and then follow the domino effect. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Duplication is always good that you can make things duplicatable. I have to continue telling myself that because I'm kind of a... I don't know if it's called nitpicky or it's got to be perfect. You know, what I do is got to be. You're a perfectionist. Perfectionist. You're a perfectionist Thank and you. you don't like recycling it. Yeah. That's what it is. And, and so, you know, I have to keep reminding myself that whatever I do or whatever I tell my team members to do, is it duplicatable or am I just able to do it because whatever reason? Yeah. And I always tell my um, leaders too, I can't wait to attend their meetings so I can see what twist you put into what you duplicated, not only for me, but maybe your coach or Avon's meetings and mm -hmm. what you in a nutshell have put together yourself. Hasn't yeah. happened yet, but I, <laughs> let's, I would let's, love let's, to be done. silent at one of Roger's meetings. You what? <laughs> I'm she sorry, I'm multitasking. I said I would love to be a silent listener at one of your Zoom meetings. I sent you a replay of my first Zoom meeting just so you can see how it went. Oh, the replay, but I'd like to be a silent follower. Maybe I Yeah, if I knew you and I'm gonna mess up and start picking on you and talking crap about you and everything else. No. Just to get they you to They won't even know she's there. <laughs> No, huh? I won't even I won't even put my picture up. I'll leave the video box closed. Yeah, it's, but it'll still say Don Telling Houston, so I know you're there. <laughs> That's funny. 
all my team members say, will you be at the first one with me? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, absolutely. But I'm not talking. You're yeah. going to do the talking. Right. You have to do the presentation. You're the leader of it. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, but yeah, fun, fun. <laughs> that, that is, that, that is uh, something that, you know, I, I'm, would be honored to be invited to any of them. And, you know, I put the tape over my mouth and I'm doing. <laughs> well, Dawn, I'm going to tell you what, as soon as my team gets big up where I start having team meetings every month, then I may actually accidentally invite you to one of them. Accidentally, okay. <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm a jokester. I mean, come on, with the Don, I cut up with Don every time I talk to her. So. I know, I know. We're just okay. So, um, let's talk about now that we have enough time on this page, on the last page of this session. Where it, you know you're supposed to congratulate yourself for completing this extra exercise, and how would you how would you celebrate or reward yourself for the accomplishment of going through this BIB? Hi. <laughs> well, in this respect, I'm ordering myself a Christmas present that's going to be on my campaign 26 order. Finally, ordering something for me. And what is that, Roger? Will you share? No, no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> um, one of the uh, the only ornament that I haven't gotten yet. Okay. So, yeah. So an ornament for your tree to remember 2020 by. Uh -huh. Well, the only one that I know, no, I'm talking about through Avon. The only ornament I don't have in the brochure is the light up, is that light up star ornament. I've got all the others. Okay. Okay. So that's the only one I don't have. I was tossing it back and forth. The customer ordered it because, be honest, in a brochure, I thought it looked ugly. Okay. And I wasn't going to order it, but another one of my that customers one? ordered it. The one that another one of my customers up. ordered it. And once I saw it, now I'm getting it. Yes, I see you waving that tree up there. My battery's getting low with mine already. Oh, really? Okay. Is it a replaceable battery? Well, they're button batteries. You have to be, yeah, they're okay. replaceable. They're button batteries from a watch shop. Well, I was. I'm gonna. I'm gonna match them with the packets of button batteries that Walmart has before I go to a watch shop. Okay. <laughs> so, how else will anybody celebrate for your completion of doing this BIB with us? We've been doing this what since September. Is that when we started? I think. Yeah, so. something like that. So how many more sessions we have? Well, by looking at the book, let, let me just, I'll have to count them and let you know, but we've got at least five more. I think when I figured out we would go through January, mm -hmm. I think with the sessions. Okay. So, well, um, then at the very end, finishing BIB all together is when I'm going to buy something big for myself. Okay. Do you know well, what no that's going to be session. yet? Huh? Do you know what it's going to be yet? Uh, no, but I know it's going to be something I want. And it's just I'm going to stumble across it. But for tonight's one, I'm going to have a piece, a, a piece of peach pie. So. Oh, peach pie is your reward. Okay. Anybody From scratch. Else, anybody else got a reward planned? I don't think we celebrate enough. We should be celebrating every little small thing that we do. Well, we should, especially this year, be in 2020. We need to celebrate as much as we can. Otherwise, we're all going to lose our marbles in this place. <laughs> I don't think I have any marbles left. <laughs> oh, that's you, Flo. You, you may not have all yours, but some of us still have a few. Good luck. <laughs> on my way. <laughs> So, huh? so, Teresa, I think you're the youngest, you know, the lowest LOA in this group. Mm -hmm. So how it, you know, you told us some great things that, that you were accomplishing, that you were feeling good about. Have you celebrated those things? Have you celebrated by doing anything special? Besides dancing around in my living room? No. 
<laughs> That's funny. Well, I just danced know. around in my living room and I called up a couple of friends and I told them about it. And they were like, Congratulations. And I was like, Can I give you a book you want to order? And they were like, Sure, give me a book. So, yeah. Hopefully, so, I'll have a, By you know, celebrating, by sharing your celebration, could be building your sales. That's true. Getting yeah. more orders. So, no. keep my fingers crossed. Well, I'm not doing any dancing around there, Teresa. I've been getting too many online orders, and that's where all my dancing's been happening. Well, all that's my good. online orders. I said, do a happy dance. I jump out of my desk and do a happy dance because of an online order. There you go. <laughs> that's a celebration. And then no, have my no. dog looking at me stupid like, Dad, are you okay? There you go. <laughs> I think also not celebration. I haven't done much of a, you know, of course I feel feng shui because of doing this and celebrate that success. But I think I've shown more appreciation to myself of organizing my schedule where it works for me, my family. And that was really my main focus. So being in this has really put everything uh, strongly together. It just fit perfectly with what I had goal wise with what I wanted to strategize in my um, business and my personal life and it just fit to a T and so that kind of is my big celebration and will be my big bang of celebration at the end because everything has already been falling into place um, organization wise and just um, you know dividing that time that management of time management so that's, that's my celebration is that I successfully have broken that down to where I'm getting very happy and content with my schedule that's good that's good okay Flo, is there anything that you've been celebrating along the way? I mean, you know, we should be celebrating every week when we complete this BIB uh, session because well, it okay. always gives me ideas of things and areas that I can explore a little bit because I mean, everybody's got such great suggestions and things that work for them and it may not work for everybody, but I do try to tweak it and, and do it the way I think I, I can do it. You know, it's not everybody can... And I may seem a little bit uh, quiet sometimes. Other times I might monopolize the entire hour. But um, truthfully, I'm I'm a fairly shy person. But um, if you can believe it, but um, I I have been going out no, of my. No, no, Would you say, Roger? Sorry, I have this big lug trying to get. I'm like, don't <laughs> knock my mind with my. <laughs> uh, so I I have tried something different. Um, I started doing. Well, I've got my videos with Canva and stuff. So um, I tried to post, go tell mommy you want the cookies. She knows where they are. <laughs> so I've been posting some of my videos on friends' websites or uh, Facebook sites and family. And um, I've got family all over the world that I talk to almost on a daily basis, weekly, if not daily. So it's like, why not ask them if I could post there, which is something I would not have done a month ago, but this month it's different because the book itself and what we talk about during these sessions has encouraged me to go a little bit out of that comfort zone and do some things that I haven't done before. And that's something I haven't done. Occasionally I'll say, hey, can I throw this on your site? And, and then I might get a little bit of interest, but this last time I got three orders from people I don't know, and it could only have come from those family sites that I posted it on because I don't know where else it would come from, which is really nice for me. So yeah, I well, am well, to you. Things. Yeah. That's awesome. A little bit different. A little bit different. Yeah. And each chapter I write down and instead of giving myself like a new prize, I just do a little star of of I completed that. I've implemented it into my business and that's my celebration is that I was successful with that group of that um, knowledge that we're obtaining and it again is falling right into place with what I'm doing so it's even working out better nice. um, because it's like we've even said before when we go over something John's mentioned this is perfect because it's actually what Avon's going over so it is kind of what Avon's going over it breaks down right into the same sequence and um, again like I said everything I'm kind of doing this year um, with my business in general so really just knowing I got that accomplished and that chapter is solid. It, that's my, that's my celebration. Good job. I'm, fr I'm frugal. I don't spend money or reward myself <laughs> a glass of wine at dinner. And then I come on this meeting. That's what I do. 
<laughs> I'm Italian. I drink wine when I when I cook. <laughs> so, but yeah, other than that, I, I think this has worked really well with getting us all solid, getting us into our comfort zones, coming out of our comfort zones, you know, just really has made a world of a change. So thank you, Dawn, again for having me as part. And I really feel um, honored to be able to be here with you guys because I'm not part of your team. So thank you all for welcoming me. I appreciate that. No not problem. feeling odd that I'm here either, you know, like, oh, we got somebody that's not in our team. So I, I appreciate the welcoming that all of you have given me. Well, Great we're to glad have to have you to share, you know, a different side of things that is always good to hear. And thank you for sharing with us too. So thank you guys. Okay. Well, um, you know what? Uh, that pretty much ends this session. We are going to be ending a little bit early, but I'm going to stop the recording now. So everybody.